In this session, we're going to take a look at the color management tools with Simple Sep Smart Rip 4.0. As screen printers, we really want to have tools that expedite our workflow and our accuracy. And in dealing with color separation, color management, halftone ripping, one of the most important aspects of working with projects related to production artwork or getting artwork ready for screen printing and separation is our color management techniques and tools and workflow. And that's why we built some very comprehensive tools for simple steps so that not only can we rip our halftones or generate our color separations, but so that we can also manage the colors that are in our graphic designs effectively, quickly, and accurately. We've got a pretty complex design set up here in Corel Draw, and that's a cheerleading design here. I'm just going to use this for demonstrative purposes. I'll go ahead and select everything here, and then I'm going to go to my advanced tools, and I'll go to Simple Steps 4. And I'll go ahead and come over here to Color Management. Now this tab gives us a lot of very important tools that we need when we're dealing with preparing our artwork files for color separation and halftone ripping. First of all, when we look at this object, we can see down here in the bottom of the status bar that we have 1,134 different objects. Now, I have no idea how many colors are in here, but I know that if I want to screen print this, I'm going to have to bring it down in colors or prep it so that it's maybe three, four, or five different colors for the screen printing process. Well, once everything is selected, and I'll go ahead and deselect here, and you'll need to make sure that you do have all of your graphics selected when you're using the color management tab. Once everything is selected, I can come over here and click on Create Selection Palette. And Simple Steps will go through and scan the entire graphic, all of the objects, and it will give you back an accurate count of the number of colors that you have in your graphic. And I can see here there's 43 colors. No way we're going to be able to screen print with that. I also have some color chips here, and I can actually select and deselect these, and I can select more than one at a time just by left clicking in the little white box there. I can come up here and I can also click on Show Color Name. It'll take a minute to refresh. And it'll show me all the different colors and the names of those colors that are in the graphic. And I can also deselect that and go back to just color chips. I can also from here select all or deselect all. So I've got some tools for selecting and working with and analyzing my colors here. Now here I can actually select colors. Let's say we want to do a color replace on this purple. I can actually replace the purple and say this other purple and this hot pink down here all together down here under color replace from palette. Now here I've got some options, select fills only, select outlines only, select both fills and outline. I can preserve tints. If there's tints of the color, let's say there's a 100% Pantone and a 50% Pantone, if I preserve those tints when I do the color replacement, using a spot color or Pantone color, that tint will be preserved. If I go here and click on Replace, let's say I want to replace these all with this kind of bright purple CMYK, and I select OK. And then I'll go through and replace all those colors, as you can see there. So I was able to select and replace all three colors at the same time. I'll go ahead and click Undo. I'm going to go ahead and select everything again. Now I can also come over here to Object Selection. I can select a scope, which would be Current Document or Current Page, and actually Current Selection here. And come down here again, Properties, based on Outlines only, Fills only, both Fills and Outlines. I can select one object or a number of different actual objects, but colors here in my color palette. Click on Select Objects. And you see I've got 216 objects that have these three colors. So I've got some really powerful tools to work with for color selection, color replacement, and object replacement. I can come down here and convert these colors to the tinted palette or just convert straight to Pantone colors. Here I have the options for my tinted palettes. Now these are very important options here in Simple Steps relating to your spot color management and Corel Draw. My increments are set to 1 and I'm going from 10 to 90. Now from 2 really relates to your color density. I'm going to go ahead and select one color here. I'll come over here and get, let's say, this unnamed color, just kind of like a purple here. And I'm going to create a tinted palette from the object. I'll go ahead and move this here, and I'll just click on this from selected color. And we can see that palette here. 
Now you'll notice that this palette has some increments to the color. This is this Pantone spot color now. It starts out at 100%, and then it drops to 90, and then it goes to 89, etc., on down through 88, going in one step increments down to 10%. Now, screen printers under 10%, we don't tend to hold those dots very well. Now, these tinted palettes are the actual palettes that SimpleSteps uses to do its color replacement. And you don't want to replace a color with a 2% color density that you're not going to be able to hold as a half tone in the screen printing process. You want that to be at least 10%. Now, you can set these to whatever you want. If I change these increments to, say, 5, and I go from 20 to, let's say, 80, and this is where it gives you real control over your half toning relating to your spot colors through simple steps. And I go ahead and I go from selected color again. That'll refresh. Now you can see we're going in 5% increments. Here we've got 100%. We drop right down to 80. And then it goes down to 20. I'll go ahead and reset that back to increments of 1. And we'll change this back to say 10 and 90. Now you want to be aware of that because when you're doing your color replacing, if you want to have really good control over how your half tones are going to work or the density of the color that's going to be used to do your color replacement and color reduction in simple steps, you have complete control over that here with your tinted palette options. Go ahead and select everything here and we'll take a look at how we want to go about reducing colors in a graphic that's as, as complex as this one. The first thing you want to do before you do any color conversions or do a color reduction using your color arrangement tools and simple sets is you actually want to do some analysis of your graphic. Go ahead and click off here to deselect everything. Now here you can see I've got some purples and magentas and pinks and even some flesh tone here in the cheerleader. I'm going to want to make sure that I cover all of that in the colors that I want to reduce to for my color reduction to set up my job for color separation and screen printing. Looking at this, I'd probably go with selecting something like the darker purple here, this brighter magenta to cover the magentas, a pink here, definitely going to want a white, and we're definitely going to want a flesh tone. So another one, two, three, four, five colors. Now if I click one click conversion now, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to get an error because I don't have anything selected, so I want to make sure I reselect my graphic. Go ahead and select everything here, and then I'll click on one click conversion. Now here you'll notice that the palette tint or our tinted palette is actually changing the colors here for the color replacement. Once I select OK here, I'll see that I've been reduced down to five colors, 26 tints, and I can see my color conversion. Now one thing you want to be aware of when you convert to Pantone colors in Corel Draw, they are not as bright as your RGB colors. They're actually set up to simulate what the print would look like. So sometimes when people look at their conversions from the RGB to Pantone, they think there's some problems with the color conversion. And sometimes there can be. I mean, sometimes if you select the wrong colors or you don't have all the colors you need for the design, you really have to reduce it down. But you need to be aware of the fact that the way Pantone renders, it doesn't render color the same way as it renders RGB color in the Corel Draw workspace. So here we've gone from 43 colors down to 5 colors, and we've processed approximately 1,134 objects literally in a matter of seconds. Now, if I want to do some more tweaking here, I could use all of these other tools that I have available to select, change, or replace colors to really tweak or dial my design or my color reduction in for my color separations and my screen printing. We'll go ahead and wrap here relating to our color management session, and we'll continue on our next training session for Simple Steps Raster 4.0.